All right, ladies and gentlemen, another picture-perfect afternoon here in Southern Nevada as the Rebels look to go for the sweep against Fresno State here this afternoon. Along with Stephen Marsh, I'm Byron Teach. Glad to have you with us on this Sunday afternoon for some softball. Stephen, the Rebels have looked very solid in this weekend set. Yeah, they've taken the first two games of this series. Yesterday, they took it by a score of 8-2. to two. We had Taylor Allman, who hit her 30th career home run last night. And the pitching was good this whole weekend. Only giving up three earned runs between the two starters. Looking for the same result today. Absolutely, and uh, on the mound today is going to be Amanda Olavito, and she had uh, the duties and uh, the assignment to take on this Fresno State Ball Club in game number one on Friday. And she was able to manage out a victory for the Rebels. And she will have the duties once again to close this one out and get the Rebels back to 500 baseball in Mountain West Conference play as they are currently tied with Fresno State at two and three. Let's set up the outfield for the Rebels in the left field. It's going to be Montreal, Valentino in center. Laura is at right field. Alman is a shortstop. Cordova at second base. Van Acker at first. DeBeppo is at third. Olavito is the pitcher. And catching is Heather, is Harrison behind home plate. And, and Gotti leading things off for the Bulldogs. And quickly, two strikes. For Capri and Gotti. And Gotti, a 396 average. She was batting ninth last yesterday, but she's batting leadoff today. And she had uh, two hits yesterday and her three at bats, also had a walk. 1 2 now the count. The wind up by Olavito. And she gets her looking. And the first strikeout for Amanda Olavito this afternoon. As Capri Angotti is retired. Now batting for the Bulldogs is Diane Rungi. Looks at that one straight down the middle for strike one. Rungi yesterday had that inside the park home run in the third inning. Definitely showed some speed running the base pads. Ball, ball got past the uh, center field of Valentino, went all the way to the warning track, and then Rungi was off and circled all of the bases. Got her swinging on that one, and count moves to one and two. She's also able to, able to register a double as well in that game, so she was two for three in her at-bats yesterday. Both Bulldogs got a lot of hits yesterday as well. Especially in the early innings, that one gets fouled off the ankle of Diane Rungi. But only able to muster two runs on the scoreboard, Stephen. But they had over, like, I believe they had about 13 hits yesterday. So it's not that Fresno State wasn't hitting the ball, it's just that they weren't hitting them at the right time and you had some double plays. and Stranded a lot of base runners, too. The wind up by Olavito just a little outside. Evens the count at two apiece. One away here in the inning. And check swing, and she went. So strike three, and Amanda Olavito has retired the first two batters for Fresno State. Back-to-back -back strike strikeouts to start this game. Right fielder number 21, Michelle Solomon. She's making quick work here in the first. And this would be a big strikeout should Olavito get Michelle Solomon. Solomon, one of those big-time hitters for the Bulldogs. As that first pitch. A little outside, ball one. Yeah, the last couple games I believe she was batting leadoff, but today she's in the third spot. Yesterday she did have a base hit in her four at-bats. That one just gets a piece of the, just gets a, the end of the bat and gets fouled away. Her season average though, 280, two home runs, 22 RBI, so one of their top hitters when it comes to runs being batted in. Solomon fouling that one away to keep the at-bat alive. One and two now the count with two away. That one chops down the third base line and just gets out of play from Jamie DePepo.
Solomon out of Beaumont, California. That one a little high for Olavito, and count is even once again at two apiece. A decent crowd on hand for this rubber game of this three-game set. That one chops near the pitcher. Olavito, easy play to Van Acker for the third out, and Amanda Olavito comes out and gets things rolling in a hurry. Two strikeouts and gets Solomon to ground out to end the first inning for Fresno State. Rebels coming up to bat when we come back on UNLV TV. All right, welcome back. Las Vegas on a picture-perfect Sunday afternoon. Fresno State gets retired in the first inning. Still no score here at Eller Media Stadium. Stephen Marsh, Bomber teacher, with you. Uh, Stephanie Valentino leads things off for the Rebels. We'll set the lineups in just a moment as that second pitch goes flying down the middle. Valentino. a count at one and one. Yeah, Byron Valentino yesterday had uh, four right bats. She had two hits, was able to score a run. Valentino, Valadez, and Van Acker, the first three batters do up for the Rebels here in the bottom half of the first. That pitch a little. Low in the strike zone, but they're going to give her the strike anyway. One and two. Now the count. Valentino, a 398 season average so far. She's got three home runs, 14 RBIs. Check swing. Did she go? No. Count even again at two and two. Real quick, Rungi is at left field, and Gotti at center, Selman at right. Seals a shortstop, Whitney Smith at second base, Session Brazil at first, Bonnie Martin at third, Gums is a catcher, and Jill Compton getting her second straight duty as that one's popped up to center field, and Gotti getting under that one, and retires the first out. Rest of the UNLV batting order real quick. Emily Valadez, the designated pitch, uh, player, batting second, batting third, Taylor Van Acker, the first baseman, batting cleanup, Taylor Allman. The shortstop batting fifth, Pauline Monreal. The left fielder batting sixth, Heather Harrison, the center, or the catcher rather. Batting seventh, Alyssa Cordova, the second baseman. Batting eighth, Jamie DePifo, the third baseman. And batting ninth, Samantha Juarez, the, left, the right fielder. That one's smoking through. Ball one for Emily Valadez. Valadez was three for four in yesterday's ball game. Scored three runs. Had three singles. Had a big hand in the Rebels' 8-2 victory. Count now 2-0 for her, Jill Compton. Her season average, 3-0-3. Jill Compton gets a sign, wind up, going, and Valdez swinging for strike one. Valdez showing bunt, just rolls a little foul. Evens the count again at two and two. 
One away here on the inning, bottom of the first. In the past two games, UNLV was, has been able to get off to a early lead. <laughs> and Valdez swinging, and Jill Compton records her first strikeout of the afternoon. As Taylor Van Ecker takes her place at home plate. You know, we saw Jill Compton not too long ago, just yesterday. She went five and a third innings, gave up ten hits, eight, eight earned runs in that game. Had six strikeouts, though, but gave up those eight earned runs. Just cannot get the run support from the offense. As that first pitch is in there for strike one to Taylor Van Acker. Run support very important, especially in baseball and softball. And it doesn't help the pitcher at all when you don't get on as Taylor Van Acker gets that one. Back of the warning track is Diana Rungi to bring that one in and two outs. Well, that's the third out. That's going to be okay, the third out. As one, Rebels two, three. take the infield and Jill Compton doesn't allow anything as the Rebels take defense. Fresno State due up when we come back on UNLV TV. Welcome back to UNLV as the Rebels look for the sweep against the Bulldogs. Taylor Allman at the plate for UNLV takes that first pitch swinging for strike one. Well, should we go back to yesterday, Byron? She hit that home run over the fence. It was a two-run home run, a 30th career home run. I think it's worth uh, mentioning again. And she takes her first at bat. That one rolls in the dirt and will be fouled as the count moves to 0-2. It was part of a two for four afternoon. She also had a single in the fifth inning of yesterday's game. To go with her 284 average on the season and her sixth home run uh, yesterday so far this year. Allman, one of the bright spots here in this Rebel Club. Stares that pitch down. Now one and two, the count. And it was off this very same pitcher, Jill Compton. And Almond swings on that one. And for Jill Compton, that's her second strikeout of the afternoon. She's got to feel pretty good about that. Didn't want Almond to beat her again, I'm sure. Yeah, I remember yesterday Compton had uh, had some issues. She got the first two base runners on for UNLV and able to get out of the jam uh, at in, at times and. He's doing relatively well to start this Sunday afternoon contest. That first pitch is in there for ball one. Monreal 0 for 2 in yesterday's game. Had a walk. Also flew out to left and right field. And Compton's pitch in there for a strike. One and one now the count with one away here in the bottom half of the second. Monreal on the season, a 258 average. Montreal taking that one deep to center, and that one is going to be gone. Pauline Montreal gives the Rebels the one to nothing lead on a solo jack to center. That one not only went over the low fence, but it went over the green fence over there and probably out towards the parking lot. Absolutely, the green monster in center field. For here at UNLV. Our little version of the green monster. <laughs> Not as big as Fenway Park, but still pretty high up. Another, lo another look at it on your screen. Nothing See, nothing Capri and Gotti could do as she just watched that one sail. And the Rebels take the one nothing lead on the Montreal so, home run. So Jill Copton able to keep Almond from hitting the home run, but just gives it right up to the next batter, Montreal. One and one now the count as Heather Harrison, the catcher at the play for UNLV. And Montreal showed some serious power as she sent that one to center field. Well, Heather Harrison sends that one to the backstop and out of play. Well, a couple things to note. It looks like it's a little windy out there. The trees are blowing around a little bit. 
Wonder if that factored into it. Also, as we mentioned yesterday, in day games, at least baseball, softball, I'm sure it's the same way, ball tends to carry a little bit more. That one was airmailed. As Harrison stares that pitch down, two and two, now the count. So how about that, Stephen? You got your home run yesterday. I get mine today. We're even, Stephen. Yes, we are. <laughs> Compton gives delivers that one high. And 3-2 now, a full count. Hopefully it's not the last home run we'll see. Maybe the Rebels can get a home run derby going here in this final game, game of the series as Harrison stays live, just getting that one off the end of her bat. And then, of course, Fresno State had that inside the park home run yesterday as well. That's very true. So, okay, so far we're not even, Steven, as you got two. And <laughs> yeah, I but that one, one was for the other team. That one I wasn't quite as exciting. Although I it was exciting because inside the parkers are always exciting. Because you just I don't have, see them too often. I have one more to get as Harrison sends that one foul down the first base line and and She'll stay alive at the at bat with a full count. But if you're Joe Compton, you cannot get rattled off of that solo jack. Uh, yeah, it's still early. It's only one run. Still lots of time left. You can't let that one rattle you too much. It's all about how you come back after that. And now she walks Harrison. One away here on the inning. Alyssa Cordova, second baseman, up to bat for UNLV. Cordova, Cordova came in as a pinch hitter yesterday and was uh, one for one in her only at bat. Compton in the windup. Cordova sends that one flying down the third base line and foul. Cordova on the season at 257 average. 19 hits in her 74 at bats. That one in there for ball one. One and one now the count. Joe Compton coming into this weekend with a 3.12 ERA. I'm sure that will go up just a little bit with that solo jack by Monreal. Monreal, excuse me. As Compton also is 9 and 10 so far in the season. And swinging on that one is Alyssa Cordova. 2 and 2 now the count. Yeah, and she got the loss in yesterday's game. Compton delivers that one a little low. And the count moves again to 3 and 2. Well, Jill Compton, after the doing pretty good with the first four batters, and even starting off this inning, it seems like that home run has rattled her a bit. That one a low and inside. Cordova will take her place at first. Harrison will move over to second. Rebels with two on, one out. Back-to-back -back walks after that home run by Monreal. And Jamie DeBeppo coming up for the Rebels. Yeah, DePepo won at bat yesterday before she was uh, pinch tip for. We'll see what Jill Compton can do if she can get out of this jam and escape the bottom half of the second with only one run. Harrison's going to have a pitch runner come on for her at second base. That's number eight for UNLV. As Jackie Vallea will do the pitch running duties. Rebels like to go with some speed on the base pads here in the bottom of the second. As Jamie DePepo gets set. Stares that first pitch down for strike one. Yeah. 
That one fouled. 0-2 oh now the count as Jill Compton's ahead against Jamie DeBeppo. That one's going to slice through center field. And they're going to hold the runners at bay as the bases are now loaded. And a single for Jamie DeBeppo. And the Rebels load them up for number two, the right fielder, Samantha Juarez. A golden opportunity now for UNLV to really do some damage here in the bottom of the second. Captain delivers that one for strike one. Juarez two for three in her at-bats yesterday. Had a couple of singles. And Juarez takes that one swinging. 0-2 now the count. 305 average for Juarez. A strikeout here for Jill Compton would really do wonders for her confidence, and she gets it. Strikeout number three. Three for Jill Compton. And we're back to the top of the order for UNLV as Stephanie Valentino back up for the Rebels. First pitch a little high, ball one. Back in the first inning, she flew out to the center fielder and Gotti. The 1-0 pitch from Compton. That one's going to drop and roll all the way to the warning track. One, roll, one run will come in, two will come in. How about three again? And the Rebels put three more on the board. The three RBI double, three I believe. Three RBI double again for the Rebels as Valentino delivers. Moves the score now to four to nothing for UNLV. And just like that, Jill Compton is going to be done. It's going to be Hannah Harrison for Fresno State, number 15. Coming in uh, to this weekend with a, about a 2.27 ERA, six and four so far on the season for Fresno. She didn't last too long. They, UNLV was able to solve her again in this game, like they did yesterday. And it all started, Stephen, with that solo jack by Monreal. Monreal, yep. Yeah. Then back-to-back -back walks by Compton after that to Harrison and Cordova. Then the base the, hit by DePepo. And then the, the three RBI by Valentino to bring them all home. We'll see what Hannah Harrison can do for the Bulldogs. As so far in this bottom of the second, the Rebels have had a big inning. Four runs off three hits. Valentino at a sprinter stance at second base. The wind up by Harrison. Valadez lay down, lays down the bunt, and Harrison gets out of the inning for Fresno State. But the Rebels, it all started with a solo jack by Monreal. They get three more and lead 4 nothing. when we come back on UNLV TV. That one a little low, and... Well, it's ball two. Two and oh now the count, and Harrison's going to make her second trip out to talk with Amanda Olavito. And There's no more room on the base pads to walk her without giving up a run. The good thing for her, though, she's got two outs, so she could just settle down and get and get this batter out. Solomon, she'll get out of trouble. And that one's hit well to left field. That one's going to be gone. Michelle Solomon with a grand slam 
for the Bulldogs, and we are tied. Well, she didn't get out of it. She gave up the grand slam. Michelle Salomon rounding the bases to a standing ovation from her fellow teammates as they make the trip out of the dugout, and Salomon sent that one packing. Now we got ourselves a ball game here in the rubber game of this three-game set. Here's another look at the Grand Slam. There was nothing, no doubt about that one. That was just delivered to left field. As we get back to uh, the live action here at Eller Media Stadium, Stacia Brazil. So UNLV failing to have the shutdown inning. UNLV gets four runs in the second, and Fresno State four runs in the top of the third. That's the count. It's counting out two and one. We're told, uh, Stephen, uh, on Friday by their SID that Salmon was one of those heavy hitters. We see that one right there as you saw a kind of frustrated pitch back to Van Acker by Amanda Olavito. She finally gets out of the inning, but Fresno State off the grand slam by Michelle Solomon ties things up at four. Rebels do up in the third when we come back. <laughs> 